Hello and welcome back to another Student Life video. I am Sophie and today I'm going to be talking about living independently from how to best be independent for yourself to tips on supporting yourself and living your best first year at university. Okay, so let's be real. Living alone on your first time is going to be really daunting and kind of surreal. You might find yourself thinking about the experience you might have and how to cope with those and you just don't know what to do. So here are my tips and tricks on how to live independently whilst you're new at university. My first tip would be just give yourself time to adjust. Everyone is going to be in the same situation as you whether you feel like they are or not. It's so natural to be nervous when you're doing things for the first time and when you feel completely out of your depth but by giving yourself time to adjust you're going to be able to settle in make friends and just have a good time in general. If you're not used to doing a lot of little small life tasks normally, you need to adjust to this as well. So things like cooking, cleaning, planning, everything is new to you and you're going to need to just get used to it, get into a routine and allow yourself time to adjust to this. Remember, don't beat yourself up if you don't get it straight away. It's gonna take time. You've got new courses to learn, you've got new friends to make, you've got a whole new environment to be aware of. Give yourself time, let yourself adjust, and just you will get there eventually. My next tip is practice some self-care. The last thing you want to be doing when you're feeling out of your depth is neglecting yourself. So whether that's pampering yourself, just taking some time for yourself, make sure you do it. This is gonna help you de-stress, it's gonna help you relax more into a routine and just give you a break when you may be feeling overwhelmed. Now you're probably sick of hearing this one but organisation is my next tip. Having a schedule can help you stick to a routine and get yourself into some kind of structure that's really gonna help you live independently and sort out your time. I'd recommend grabbing either a digital or a physical planner Start by scheduling your academic responsibilities. Know exactly what your deadlines are, what you need to hand in, when you need to do it, and how you're gonna plan that time. And then from there, you can do your social responsibilities, your housework responsibilities, just schedule everything. Whether you stick to it fully or not, it doesn't matter as long as you know exactly what needs doing within your week and how you're going to do it. My next tip is to have a budget and to stick to it. Knowing where your money needs to go and when it needs to go is going to help you massively. Now the first drop of student loan can be very exciting and we've all been tempted to go wild but knowing exactly what that loan needs to go on is going to help you massively. My best advice is to split your budget by week or by month depending on how you like to live and split this into categories such as your rent, any bills you have to pay, any shopping such as food shopping you want to do, nights out, socialising account for everything so you know that you've got the money to do it when you want to. My final tip is to not be afraid to ask for help if you need it. It's a massive change coming to university and living alone for the first time, as I said, can be so daunting. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you are struggling and you do need it. You can ask your flatmates, you can ask your course mates, or there's services available to you such as the Student Wellbeing Centre who are catered to offer you advice and help for any situation. So these are my tips and tricks on how to live independently and support yourself. Hopefully you find some helpful information there to help you transition into living independently, potentially for the first time. Be sure to check out URL Student Life on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok for more content for students by students. See you next time.